Good evening. We would like to welcome you to beautiful old Washington, Ohio, in the campus of Buckeye Trail High School for tonight's opening IVC High School boys basketball action between the Connaughton Valley Rockets and your Buckeye Trail Warriors. For our main man, Dave McComb, being our statistician tonight, and Colton Wheeler, working uh, behind the camera. I'm merely Tom Strasser, and we would like to give a special shout out to the BT Round Ball Club for sponsoring tonight's live stream, which we hope to uh, bring all of the home games for your Buckeye Trail Warriors. We know during the COVID situation that a lot of you would love to be here rooting the big blue on but due to the COVID restrictions, that's not possible. So we're honored to be able to bring this game to your home, courtesy of KGP TV. Connaughton Valley and Buckeye Trail set to do battle tonight. First game for both squads. And when you look at this Buckeye Trail Warrior squad, it is a young squad with a one junior, a few sophomores, and the rest uh, freshmen. And uh, the Warriors, the one thing that they have coming back, we talked about a lot of youth, but they have a lot of youth that got a lot of experience last year. The Warriors started at, at times three freshmen last year. So uh, coming back as sophomores, they've got a 20 plus games under their belt for Connaughton Valley. It was a uh, struggle for them last year. Head coach Matt Eady has done a great job with his Rocket squad, and they're hoping to get off on the right foot with a uh, big road win tonight here at Old Washington. Drew uh, Meister, the head coach for Buckeye Trail, hoping to get the IVC win and first win of the season here and the home opener and season opener for both squads. We'll look at the starting lineups tonight first for the visiting Rockets. They will start number two, Maddox Walter. Number three will be Ethan Myers. 13 will be Gage Gallagher. 20 will be Evan Seidel. And 33 will be Garson Imes. So Imes. Seidel, Gallagher, Myers, and Walter starting for Connaughton Valley under the direction of head coach Matt Eady. For your Buckeye Trail Warriors, their starting lineup will go this way. Junior, number one, Franco Rome. Sophomore, number three, Tyler Dodd. Sophomore, number 10, Isaac Beaver. Sophomore, number 11, Gannon Klum, and a freshman, number 20, Donovan Geiger. Now, Garrett Berga has been out. We're not sure if uh, he will see action tonight. That remains to be seen. And the lone senior for the Warriors, uh, Jacob Fannin, in a walking boot. So he's going to be out for a little bit of time. And unfortunately for the Warriors, they had one of their best shooters and players uh, go down with a knee injury in uh, Caden Berga. So we want to re uh, wish Cannon Berga a speedy recovery from uh, his knee injury. So again, Rome, Dodd, Beaver, Klum, and Geiger, your starters for the Warriors. So we're getting set for the national anthem. We'll step aside and listen to the anthem. And when we come back, We'll get you set for the opening tip between Connaughton Valley and Buckeye Trail.
All right, we're back here from Buckeye Trail High School, Connaughton Valley. Rockets, Buckeye Trail Warriors set to do battle, a rare Wednesday night boys game. In fact, this game was originally scheduled for last night, but was canceled due to the snowy and icy conditions. And uh, they were able to play tonight. Now the Buckeye Trail Lady Warriors Coach Lepla's squad was supposed to play tonight at Connaughton Valley. Connaughton Valley girls are in quarantine, so that game was canceled. And the Warriors were supposed to have their home opener this Saturday at 1 o'clock against New Town. That game has been canceled and moved because New Town's girls are in quarantine. And lo and behold, while all of that was going on, the Lady Warriors had to go into quarantine uh, for this week as well. So we want to wish all three squads, everyone that tested positive and in quarantine, uh, good health and a speedy recovery for the ones who tested a positive. So we're just about underway. Here we go again for Connaughton Valley. Number two, Maddox Walter. Three, Ethan Myers. 13, Gage Gallagher. 20, Evan Seidel in 33 is Garson Imes. Connaught Valley in the green uniforms. Yellow numerals. Tip is controlled by Clum. And the Warriors come out. First possession of the game. Connaught Valley man to man. Rome gets a high ball screen from Gallagher. Rockets being very active defensively. Drive baseline by Rome. And he's going to touch the baseline. So turnover Warriors, their first one. It's good to see Franco Rome moving around. Here's a kid that fractured his ankle. I think it was game four of the foot, high school football season. And from talking to the coaching staff today, they say he's 90-something percent all the way back. As there's going to be a foul on the Warriors, and I believe they're going to get Cannon Clum. That'll be his first team first. So the Rockets will trigger it in from underneath their own basket. No score. Turnaround jumper on the baseline is up and good by Ethan Myers. So the Rockets on the board first. 
Beaver cut off, swings it to Rome. Three ball, good! Franco Rome gets the first three points and points of the 2021 season for the Warriors. Double team, and there will be a foul inside. I believe they're going to get Donovan Geiger on the foul. That will be his first team second. So the Warriors with a one-point lead here. Thanks for joining us on KGP TV. Jumper there, no good by Gallagher. And possession will come to the Warriors. And again, a special thanks to the BT Round Ball Club sponsoring tonight's game. So the Warriors up one. Get it to Rome. Down the lane, and he'll be fouled. Now, they're going, to, they're going to get Myers on the foul, and they're going to give Rome two free throws. So, Franco, perfect from the field and perfect from the line so far as he knocks down his first free throw. The Warriors lead 4-2. to two. 6.23 left here in the opening quarter. Second free throw, no good. Rebound secured by Walter of Connaught Valley. Warriors jumping in a box press off the missed free throw. Pass inside to Walter. His shot partially blocked by Geiger. Warriors push. Beaver down the lane. The Geiger back to Rome. Floater, no good. Rebound secured by Maddox Walter of the Hornets. Here's a steal by Dodd. Rome has it. Warriors have numbers. Bounce pass, baseline layup, no good by Dodd, but Tyler will go to the line for two. As Garrett Berga, the outstanding sophomore, is set to check into the game for the Warriors. Dodd's first free throw up and short. So the Warriors with a two point lead. One of three from the line so far. Second free throw by Dodd, nothing but the bottom of the net. Now the Warriors set up in a 2-1-2 press, and here's another steal by Dodd. Turnover Rockets. Pass inside. Berga shot no good. Stick back up and good. So Garrett Berga gets the deuce off the offensive rebound. There's a block shot by Berga. Possession will stay with the Rockets. 5.14 left here in the opening quarter. Warriors have raced out to a 7-2 lead. Nice drive to the basket. Layup good by Garson Imes. Second field goal for the Rockets. Beaver, baseline, off the glass and good. So Beaver with his first two. Warriors have four players in the scoring column already. And hitting the deck hard. Let's hope Imes is okay. And he appears to be. Of course, that's easy for me to say. I wasn't undercut and and land on my head. I guess Imes may be a little bit tougher than me. First free throw up and good. So Clum's going to check back in. For Geiger, that is Don Donovan's second foul. I'm second free throw. Good as well. 
So four consecutive points from Imes. And the Warriors lead by three. Beaver gets a screen, and that's going to be a illegal screen on Burgess. So turnover Warriors. So the Warriors will match up man-to-man -man here. Approaching the four-and-a-half-minute mark of the opening quarter. Thanks for joining us here on KGP TV. Three ball, no good by Gallagher. Imes off the glass, no good. Rebound comes down to Klum. Warriors look to push. Rome shaking bait, gives it to Dodd. Little dribble drive action by the Warriors. Beaver off the screen to Rome. Looking for Berga inside. Nice step through. Off the glass, no good. But Berga will draw contact. And he'll go to the line for two here. With 3.55 left in the opening quarter. As the Rockets get set to sub in the JV game. Earlier, Buckeye Trail with a impressive 40 to 21 victory over the Rockets. Congratulations to Coach Johnny Jones and the squad. It's the first free throw by Berg is up and good. Second free throw, Berga eyes it, skies it, and buys it. So Berga with four. And here's a steal by Beaver. So another turnover by the Rockets. Rome, hesitation dribble, gives it to Dodd. Rome down the lane, back rim, no good, rebound. Ran down by Imes of the Rockets. Warriors up five. Imes cut off. His pass to Gallagher. Sluis and timeout. Connaughton Valley. We'll keep it here. 11 to six. The Warriors lead. This is game one of the 2021 season for Buckeye Trail. We'd like to... Remind everyone, a big weekend of high school boys basketball this Friday and Saturday night. Now, game one of the first annual Ohio Valley Classic uh, had to be canceled. So, Friday night, Buckeye Trail will play Shadyside. That will be a JV game at 6 and varsity game afterwards. We will have the varsity game for you and then saturday varsity only action at 5 30 it'll be the steubenville big red they will come in to take on the cambridge bobcats at 5 30 and then immediately following that game at 7 30 it'll be the caldwell redskins and your buckeye trail warriors so a great weekend of basketball here as Berga. Secures the defensive board for the Warriors. So we're nearing the three-minute mark here in the first half. So that'll be a great weekend of basketball. Steubenville and Cambridge. Basketball rivals from way back as Berga off the pick and roll will draw contact and go to the line for two. So the Warriors up five. First free throw up and no good. It's Jet Geesey will check in for Tyler Dodd. And checking in for Connaught Valley will be Braylon Novak. Second free throw by Berga is good. So Berga splits a pair and the Warriors lead by a half dozen. 
Nice drive to the basket by Imes, no good. Another rebound by Berga. He's been big on the boards early. Three ball for Beaver, no good. Rebound ran down by Klum. The Warriors doing a good job on the offensive board. Pass stolen, turnover. Off to Novak still. Down the lane, layup good. Hoop and harm as Garson Imes. Oh, wait. I thought they counted the basket. Yeah. It's an and one. I don't know if I know the official up top. Called a and one. I think one of the other officials may have called a charge. But I'm. We'll go to the line. So count the basket. And that is. Imes, third free throw. He has seven of the nine points for Connaughton Valley. Warriors by three. Geesey three, good! Jet Geesey's first points. What a way to hit your first varsity shot, a three-pointer as a Turnover by the Rockets. Good defense by the Warriors. So the Warriors up six. Just under two minutes left here in the first quarter. Thanks for joining us here on KGP TV. Trapped up top. Klum has it. Franco down the lane, and he'll be fouled before the shot. I believe that'll be the fifth team foul for Connaughton Valley. And that'll be the first foul on Novak. Clums fouled up top by Evan Rice. So that will put the Warriors in the bonus. The last minute and 40 here of the first quarter as well as all of the second quarter as Tyler Dodd checks back in. Rome to trigger it in. Dodd, baseline jumper short. Rome gets the rebound. Stick back, no good. Securing the rebound is Imes. Seidel. Swings it over to Gallagher. High ball screen defended nicely by the Warriors. Near steal by Rome. And Imes will be fouled on the drive, and I believe they're going to get Franco Rome with the foul. That'll be his first. 16 fouls, so now both teams are in the bonus. Here with 109 left. In the opening quarter. Warriors up six. They have led throughout this first quarter. And here's a steal by Rome. Lay up. Good. So Franco has six to lead the Warriors and gives the Warriors their biggest lead of eight. Rome with the steal. And he'll be fouled on the pass. And that should send Rome to the line for one and one. So eight point lead, 45 seconds left. So first free throw by Rome is up and good. Second free throw 
No good. Battle for the rebound. And I believe they're going to get the foul on Charlie Perry. Perry, a freshman who's just checked in. So that'll send Evan Rice to the line for one and one here. 43 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Warriors up nine. Rice, free throw is up and good. Rockets a perfect four of four from the line. And Rice says, no TV announcer, you're wrong. We're perfect five of five. So 18-11, Warriors with the lead. Warriors pull it out up top. They may be holding it for the final shot. It will be Connaughton Valley's ball coming out to start the second quarter. So Dodd, Beaver, and Rome up top. Catching 15 seconds. Near still, and it is stolen. Myers off the glass, no good. Gets his rebound, and he'll be fouled by Dodd. So nice effort there by Ethan Myers getting the steal. Offensive rebound and earning two free throws. So the foul will be on Dodd. That's his first. Free throw up and good by Myers. So Connaught Valley staying within striking distance here in the first quarter. Courtesy at a free throw line. Six for six. Free throw up and good. By Myers. Floater by Rome, no good. And that ends the first quarter. Here after one, your score, Buckeye Trail 18, Connaughton Valley 13. We'll step aside and be back after this timeout. All right, out of the timeout, the Warriors, first quarter, shot the ball well, 6 of 10 from the floor. Connaughton Valley, 2 of 7. I want to thank my statistician, the best stat man in the business, Dave McComb, for working tonight. And nice drive and finishing at the basket is Maddox Walter, his first two. And for the first time, the Rockets come with some full court press. Turnover. Jumper good by Gallagher, his first two. And just like that, it's a one-point game. Dodd cut off, gives it to Beaver. Back to Dodd. So a nice start to this quarter by the Rockets. Three ball by Dodd, no good. Rebound by Klum, knocked away. Beaver secures it inside the Berga and he'll be fouled and go to the line. Some other stats of note. 
Canaton, uh, Canaton Valley six rebounds in the first quarter. They out-rebounded the Warriors six to five. Turnovers, Buckeye Trail had four in the first. Canaton Valley with three as Burgess. First free throw is up and good. So, Burger, this is his third trip, and that one's going to be just a little short. So, uh, Garrett, four of six from the line. Warriors up two, and they will force a turnover for the Rockets. 19-17. Truly honored after the first quarter break to uh, be able to chat with the head football coach of Buckeye Trail, Donnie Kearns, who's nestled home watching us on KGP TV. So, Donnie, I'd just like to say thanks for all you do, but most of all, thanks for just simply being you. So Coach Kearns, one of our very favorites here on KGP TV. So the Warriors trigger it in up to Rome. Pull up jumper, no good. Battle for the rebound, and they're going to get Berga over the back of Walter. So, or excuse me, that wasn't Walter. That was Evan Rice who got, no, it was Walter. I should have never doubted myself. Walter to the free throw line. This will be his first trip. Rockets are perfect until now. Free throw miss. Berga with the rebound. Three ball by Dodd. Back rim, no good. Klum tries to keep it alive, but securing the rebound is Gallagher. Gallagher. Floater short. Another rebound by Berga, and he'll be fouled by Gallagher. So going back to the line for his fourth trip of this first half will be Berga. Evan Seidel checks back in for the Rockets. So for the Warriors, it's Klum, Berga, Beaver, Dodd, in Rome. Free throw, no good. Rebound secured by Myers. Beaver knocks it out of bounds. For the Rockets. They have Rice, Walter, Myers, Imes, and Seidel out on the floor. 19-17. Rockets a chance to take the lead on the three ball, and they do just that. Evan Rice and Connaughton Valley, they have outscored the Warriors 7-1 to one here in the second to lead by one. Dodd has it. Near turnover, and it is turned over as Coach Edie will take the timeout. We'll keep it here again this Friday and Saturday, the first annual Ohio Valley Classic here at Buckeye Trail High School. Due to a couple teams that had to uh, drop out, due to quarantine. There will just be one game Friday, but it will include a JV game. It'll be Shadyside and Buckeye Trail. JV will play at six, and then it will be the varsity. Shadyside and Buckeye Trail uh, varsity game immediately following the JV game. Good Lord willing, we will have that game here on KGP TV. And then a big doubleheader varsity only Saturday evening, 5.30, Cambridge and Steubenville, immediately followed by Caldwell and Buckeye Trail. Rivals there. Rome 
rebound off the rocket miss. And the Warriors, for the first time, find themselves down one. Beaver has it up top. Gives it to Berga. The Geese. Geese has hit one of two threes for the Warriors. Pass inside to Berga. Strong off the glass and good. So that's the Warriors' first field goal here in the second quarter. But it gives them the one-point lead. Rockets being very patient. Pass stolen by Beaver, but he'll lose it, so possession will stay with the Rockets. Rockets were looking to post Imes up. Imes has seven points, all of those in the first quarter. Jumper no good by Myers. And I believe Beaver... Secured the rebound, no foul. They're going to say the ball went out of bounds, so possession. We'll come back to the Warriors. Myers thought he was had a little contact on the shot there. Geesey off the high ball screen by Beaver. Imes with the near steal. Ball deflected out of bounds by Rice. The Rockets' defense. Wasn't too bad the first quarter, but it's really gotten active here in the second quarter. Dodd, pass to Berga inside, shot good, and he was fouled. So an and one opportunity by Berga, give Dodd the assist on that. So Berga back to the line. This will be his eighth free throw attempt. Berga four of seven as Charlie Perry checks in to give Gannon Klum a breather. Berga knocks that one down. And Berga is in double figures with 11. Near steal by Rome. Imes, scoop shot, no good. Rebound by Novak. He shot partially blocked by Perry. Rome secures the rebound. To Dodd. Back to Perry. Rome guarded by Seidel. Three ball by Rome. No good. Rebound to Myers. 24-20. Warriors have led by as many as nine as here's a foul off the ball. And they're going to call Braylon Novak with a foul off the ball. So it'll be turnover by the Rockets. I want to thank Colton Wheeler producing uh, our broadcast this evening. And my partner in crime, Dave McComb, handling the stats here. So 24-20, Warriors with the lead here in the second quarter. We'll take a brief timeout and be back for more action here in Old Washington.
All right, welcome back to Old Washington. The Warriors, after shooting 6 of 10 in the first quarter, they are 2 of 6 here in the second. Well, Connaughton Valley, they are 3 of 7 here in the second quarter. Again, stats courtesy of Dave McComb and off the Warrior turnover. Walter will have his shot rejected by Beaver. Novak runs it down, gives it to Imes. Imes has been explosive in the open floor. Three ball by Seidel's no good. Berga, another rebound. Berga on his way to a double-double. Layup good off the Franco Rome assist. Isaac Beaver finishes in transition. What a nice 42-foot pass by Beaver. Oh, nice pass up top by Novak. And Imes has his first basket of the second quarter. Back to a four-point game. Opening game for both teams. It's had a rare Wednesday night treat. Three ball by Beaver, no good. Geesey secures the offensive rebound. Berga takes it strong off the glass and good. Garrett Berga has three of the four field goals for the Warriors here in the second quarter and a steal. But he'll lose it. So both teams will swap turnovers. Gage Gallagher will check back in for the green cladded Rockets. Perry and Klum will check in for the Warriors. To give Beaver and Berga a breather. Remember, Donovan Geiger picked up two fouls early, so the Warriors already short bench has gotten shorter due to foul trouble. Nice drive. Shot unable to finish his rice, but he'll go to the line. Strong drive by Rice. So Evan to the line. He's two of two. For the Rockets, and the Rockets have shot free throws exceptional. Of course. The old announcer, Jinx. Second free throw by Rice. Nothing but nylon. Warrior lead down to five. One and a half minutes left here in the first half. Geesey has it. Dodd cut off nicely by Rice. Rome, down the lane, shot a little short. Battle for the rebound, and Walter comes out with it. Imes, Euro step, and he'll get to the line for two, as I believe they're going to get Tyler Dodd with the foul. So, again, both, both squads got in the bonus late in the first quarter. Free throw by Imes. Rim is kind. As that one falls in. Garson Imes has had a nice first half for the Rockets. He has 10. Let's make it 11. As Imes, a perfect five for five. And it's a three-point game under a minute left here. From Old Washington, we want to thank the BT Round Ball Club for sponsoring tonight's broadcast on KGP. Here's a three-ball attempt by Ge Geiger, who's on the floor. Remember, he has two fouls. But Tyler Dodd, I believe, has three. Near steal. Imes has it. Triple teamed off the glass. No good. 
battle for the rebound, and it will stay with the Rockets. So 24 seconds left. We'll see what the Rockets elect to do. Down three. Imes, jump stop. Kick it out for a three. No good by Gallagher. Rome has it, 15 seconds left. Warriors will hold it for the final shot. And the Warriors will also get the ball to start the third quarter. A chance to go an extra possession. And there's a steal by Imes. Whoa, I don't think that would have counted. <clears throat> but that was great TV, the shot from just beyond half court. Rims in and out. So an entertaining first quarter here from Old Washington. In your score at the half, Buckeye Trail 28, Connaughton Valley 25. Tell you what we'll do, we'll step aside. When we come back, we'll give you individual scoring and get some first half statistics as our statistician, Dave McComb, is working feverishly to uh, count up the numbers and we'll have them here when we come back after this timeout here on KGP TV.
Welcome back to Old Washington at the half. Warriors leading the Rockets in the opening game for both squads here in the 2021 high school boys basketball season. It was the Warriors who would uh, lead 18 to 13 after one quarter, but Connaught Valley would outscore Buckeye Trail 12 to 10 in the second quarter to cut into the lead of where the Warriors lead by three here at the half. We'll look at the individual scoring first for the visiting Rockets of Connaughton Valley. They got two points apiece from Gage Gallagher and Maddox Walter, four points from Ethan Myers, six from Evan Rice off the bench and leading the way for the Rockets, Garson Imes with 11. So Garson had seven of the his 11 in the first quarter. So Imes with 11, Rice six, Myers four, and two apiece for Gallagher and Walter. For the homestanding Buckeye Trail Warriors, they got one point from Tyler Dodd, three from Jet Geese, courtesy of a three ball, four from Isaac Beaver, seven from Franco Rome, and leading the way with a team in game high, 13 points, is Garrett Berga. Berga had eight of his 13 in the second quarter. So it's Berga with 13, Rome seven, Beaver four, Geese three, and Dodd one. It'll be Buckeye Trail's uh, ball to come out and we'll look at uh, some staff from our statistician. Dave McComb, first half, the Warriors shot the ball pretty well. 10 of 21 from the floor, Connaughton Valley. Six of 19, the Warriors with two three-pointers, one by Rome and one by Geese, while Connaughton Valley's lone three-pointer was from Evan Rice. Rebounding Connaughton Valley with a 12-11 advantage. Berga with four rebounds. Rome with three to lead the Warriors. And... Ethan Myers led Connaughton Valley with five rebounds. Turnovers, Warriors with nine. Connaughton Valley with seven. So we want to thank our statistician, Dave McComb. And it's nice to know that the Dave McComb Fan Club is out and listening and watching in full force. As We want to give a shout out to Holly and Adam and Audra Dyer tuned in. As off the steal, lay up good, and they are going to count the basket. And an and one opportunity for Imes, and, and that will be the fourth foul on Dodd. Not the way the Warriors wanted to start as Imes converts the old fashioned three point play. So, now on the board, it has Dodd with four. Dodd with it. Lay up. Good. Give Clum the assist. So, if Dodd does have four fouls, he's going to have to be extra cautious. Himes off the dribble, three ball, Seidel, that short, Rome clears the rebound. Warriors up two, Dodd for three, bingo! Three ball by Tyler Dodd, five consecutive points for Dodd. Off the glass, that was Himes no good. Warriors look to push. Dodge pass to Beaver. Shot no good, but Isaac will go to the line for two. So Geiger will check in. And it looks like the Warriors may be setting up their diamond. 
Express as the first free throw is up and good by Beaver. So Klum will have a seat. Beaver's second free throw. Eyes it, skies it, back rims it. Berga strong with the board. Kicks it out to Dodd. The Geiger inside, and he'll be fouled by Imes. That'll be Imes. So Myers checks in. I thought they called the foul on Imes, but if they called it on Walter, that'll be his fourth as he heads out. Geiger swings it for Dodd three. No good. Geiger skies for the rebound. Pass intercepted by Gallagher. Rockets down six. Imes. Cut off baseline, but finds a little path and puts it off the glass and in. Carson Imes. He has 16. Long pass to Berga. Layup good. And he was fouled off the Rome assist. So hoop and harm as Berga back to the line. Now that foul was on Imes. That's his first. Berga, no good. Rebound secured by Beaver. His shot rejected by Rice. He's off to the races. Shot up and in. So that shot contested by Berga. Now Cannot Valley with some press. And their pressure forces a turnover as Geesey will come in for Dodd. So a four-point game, the Warriors have led by as many as nine. But they just cannot shake the Rockets. And going baseline and finishing is Ethan Myers. He has six. Just like that, it's a two-point game. Give Rome another assist as Donovan Geiger finishes in transition. Imes. Leaves it short. His shot rejected by Geiger. Rebound Berga. Rome. Shot out of a cannon. Layup good with the left hand. So the Rockets get it to two. Warriors get it back up to six. Rice has given Coach Edie quality minutes off the bench. I'm spin move. Gives it to Gallagher, and he's fouled, and his basket is good. So one of the rare games you'll see this season where we've had actually more old-fashioned three-point plays than your three-pointers. So Klum in, Dodd back in. For the Warriors. Free throw, no good. And Berga secures the rebound. Down the lane. Rome leaves it just a little short. Rice off the rebound. Gallagher baseline jumper, and the rim is kind there. Nice touch by Gallagher. And don't look now, where it's back to a two point game. Beaver pass to Berga, and he'll be fouled. Ooh, and that's a, they're going to get Rice. Imes was there as well, and, and if that foul is on Rice, that's his fourth. And that is, that is huge. Because Walter... Has four. Free throw by Burgess, up and no good. So 
So 4-14 left here in the third quarter. Warriors up one as Geiger getting ready to come in. Connaughton Valley, six of eight from the floor as Berga hits the second free throw. Six of eight from the floor here in the third quarter. Diamond press. And here's a steal by Geiger. Rome has it to Geiger. Floater no good. Rome secures the offensive rebound. And the over and back leads to a turnover for the Warriors. So, Connaughton Valley can tie it with the three or pull within one with the deuce. Seidel has it up top. Gives it to Novak. Novak looking for a cutter. Himes has it. Guarded by Rome. Gallagher spin move. Good defense by Geiger. And leads to a Rome steal. Rome in transition. Gives it to Geiger. And he'll be fouled and go to the line for two. So Donovan Geiger making his first trip to the line. The freshman, nothing but Ned on the first one. Geiger has three, and it is a four-point lead. Jet Geesey, another freshman, will check in for Dodd. Geiger, second free throw, eyes it, skies it, and buys it. Warriors back up five. Again, pressure, and here's a near turnover. Imes has it, step through, loses it. But Walter will be fouled inside. So it'll be Connaught Valley. This ball, that is the team third. Foul as Charlie Perry checks in for Geesey. Seidel has the ball knocked away by Berga, so the Rockets will trigger it in underneath their own basket. Down five, 308 left here in the third. Thanks for joining us here on KGP TV. We want to thank the BT Round Ball Club for sponsoring tonight's contest. Turnover. Beaver comes out with it. Warriors push. Rome down the lane. Floater good. Rome has 11 four in this quarter. So Franco in double figures. Gallagher splits a double team and he'll be fouled, I believe. They're going to call it on uh, Rome. That's Franco second. So the Warriors have seen their lead shrunk to two. It's now up seven. I'm shot is blocked by Perry. Charlie Strong with the ball, and he'll be fouled in the backcourt. A little frustration foul there on Gage Gallagher. So Perry will go out. Dodd will check back in. So 2.20 left here in the third quarter. Warriors got it up by seven. Dodd to Beaver. Beaver to Dodd. Dodd floater. Good! And he was fouled. Tyler Dodd, a nice third quarter for the sophomore. Seven of his eight points here in the third. And 
like we said, I believe Tyler Dodd has four fouls. They've been playing a, a lot offense for defense subs as Dodd's free throw is good. So Tyler Dodd with nine points, eight here in the third. Berger will have a seat. Perry comes back in. So it's Geiger, Rome, Beaver, Geese, and Perry. Again, here's another steal. Rockets having trouble with the Warrior pressure. Rome cut off baseline. Back to Franco. Now he drives. Oh, bounce pass to Geiger. Layup good. Another outstanding assist by Franco. Timeout. Rockets, 147 left to go here in the third quarter. The Warriors, their biggest lead of the game of 12 as they lead 50 to 38. We'll step aside and be back for more action here on KGP TV. Welcome back to Old Washington, to the beautiful campus of Buckeye Trail High School Warriors. Really taking advantage of the rebounds. A 12 to one rebounding advantage here in the third quarter. And a good move by Coach Meister, mixing up his press package. This is really given the Rockets, a lot of problems here in the third quarter, which has led to transition opportunities, which the Warriors have cashed in. So, again, three quarters, Diamond. This time broken nicely. Oh, nice pass by Seidel as he finds Walter. And the Rockets needed that to get, get it to 10, minute and a half left. Beaver will have the ball knocked out of his hands. Coach Edie bouncing around. He thought the ball was off the Warriors as Clum will check back in for Perry. The Warriors have gotten solid contribution from their very young bench as Geesey knocks down the shot. Now there's a foul. They're going to count the basket. And they're going to call the foul on Rome. Now that's his third. Count the basket by Jack Giese. If I'm correct, Jack Giese, as there's a foul by Beaver, Giese may be leading the state in field goal percentage. And with a minimum of uh, two shots required. He is knocked down the three and a jumper. So we'll see if Giese elects to shoot the rest of the year or take home the uh, record for the greatest field goal percentage. Oh, nice step through, but shot blocked by Beaver. He blocks another one. But Gallagher stays with it, and he'll go to the line for two. Isaac Beaver with back-to-back -back blocks. Beaver said, put a stamp on that and return to sender. Free throw by Gallagher is up and no good. Rockets cashed in at the free throw line in the first half. They are one of three here in the third quarter. 
12-point lead for the Warriors. That free throw by Gallagher is up and good. So the Warriors up 11, look to finish the third quarter strong. Rome, three ball, no good. Rebound, Imes has it. He'll look to push in transition, cut off nicely. Three ball, off the glass, no good by Myers. Berga has it. Warriors will look to hold it for one. But the foul up top by Myers, that will send Rome to the free throw line. So one and one opportunity for Franco Rome. Beaver checks in for Klum. So it's Berga, Beaver, Rome, Geiger, and Giese. Free throw by Rome is up and good. Franco's second trip to the line. Franco eyes it, skies it, and buys it. Warriors by 13. 15 seconds left. Imes, nice Euro step move. Unable to finish. Geiger, long outlet to Rome. 10 seconds. Six seconds. Looking for a high ball screen. Rome, hesitation, layup, good at the buzzer. Count it. So Rome finishes strong, eight points in the quarter, 15 for the game, and after three, your score, Buckeye Trail 56, Connaughton Valley 41. Thanks for joining us here on KGP TV. We'll step aside and come back for fourth quarter action after this timeout. Welcome back to Old Washington. Start of the fourth quarter, and the Warriors, both teams actually shooting the ball well in the third quarter. Connaught Valley, 7 of 12. Buckeye Trail, 10 of 15. But the Warriors, remember, had 28 points at the half. The Warriors put 28 points on the board in the third quarter, outscoring the Rockets 28 to 16 to lead by 15. As Evan Rice back on the floor for the Rockets, number one, he has four fouls. They really missed him. Tyler Dodd has been able to play with four. As Imes down the lane, no good. Stick back by Rice. His shot is blocked by Berga. Imes gets it back up, and he'll go to the line for two. Warriors really dominated the boards in the third quarter. But there, Connaught Valley getting two offensive rebounds to get Imes to the line. His free throw there is short. Imes has had a nice game for Coach Edie and the Rockets. But he leaves that free throw short. He has 16 points and misses both. So Berga, another rebound. He's on his way to a double-double. 
Dodd to Geiger. Back to Rome. Rome baseline. Layup good. Ten points in the second half for Rome. He had seven in the first. My math is right. That's 17 for the game as there's a turnover for the Rockets as Walter has to pass go off his hands. The Warriors up 17. Do the Rockets have another run in them? They've got down a few times and gotten back to within two. One time, one in the third. Dodd jumper, no good. Strong rebound by Rice. He gives it to Imes. Imes down the lane, has the ball stripped away, but stick back is by Rice is up and no good, so he'll go to the line. Good hands there by Berga. Stripping the ball from Imes, but Rice there to pick up the loose ball and earn two free throws. 28-point explosion by the Warriors in the third quarter and Connaughton Valley, who really shot the free throws well in the first half. Have struggled here in the second. That free throw short as well, so Rockets 0 for 4 from the free throw line here in the fourth. 0 for 4, 2 for 8 in the second half. So a rare turnover for the Warriors here in the second half. Imes, Gallagher. Gives it to Seidel up top. Looking, trying to get the ball to Imes inside. Good defense, though, by Beaver. Warriors doing a nice job switching. Turn around. Baby jumper there by Gallagher. Gallagher has nine. Geiger, spin move, shot off the glass, no good. Rice secures the rebound. Pass deflected. Rome comes up with it. Turnover Rocket. Floater short. Battle for the rebound. Rome has it. Off the glass, no good. Rebound by Beaver. Rome, nice, no look pass. The Berga layup, good. Berga has 18. Rome mounting up the assist, and here's a turnover by the Rockets. So 60 to 43. Timeout Rockets will take one as well. 453 left. Warriors up 17 and on their way to their first win. Here in their first game of the 2021 season. We'll be back here on KGP TV after this timeout. Welcome back here on KGP TV. We've had some exciting action last night. Meadowbrook with an impressive home victory. Their first game of the season over Philo, 83 to 49. And also on KGP, you were able to watch the Malvern Hornets knock off Tusky Valley at home. 
to win their first game. And off the steal, Rice will be fouled. Strong move. And Evan Rice with an and one. Rice did an excellent job there absorbing the contact and finishing at the rim. As that will be the third foul on Beaver. Free throw up and good by Rice. So Rome breaks the double team. Dodd to Beaver, three ball, no good. Good look though, off the Dodd pass. So 420 left, 14 point lead. Imes takes it strong off the glass and good. Dodd could not afford to foul there. Pass to Berga, no good. Geiger stick back. Offensive board, no good. Imes, all the way, lay up good. Carson Imes, and you knew the Rockets were not going to go away quietly. They're within 10. Geiger, lay up good, and he was fouled. And that may have been another Rome assist. That's Maddox Walter picks up the foul, and that is his fifth foul. So Connaught Valley, Walter got four his fourth in the third. Evan Rice got his fourth foul in the third. As Geiger converts the old-fashioned three-point play and off the turnover. Rome finds Dodd, and Dodd will go to the line for two. As Imes picks up his fourth foul. So Dodd's free throw is up and good. Second free throw, eyes it, skies it, back rims it, no good. Ball will go off of Imes. Timeout Warriors will keep it here. Remember, a big weekend of basketball here at Buckeye Trail. Here on the campus and on KGP TV. It'll be the annual Ohio Valley Classic. Friday night, it will be Shady Side and Buckeye Trail. They will do battle in a JV and varsity game Friday evening. JV game at 6, varsity game to follow. And we'll bring it to you here on KGP TV. And then Saturday night, the big doubleheader varsity games only at 5.30. It will be Steubenville in Cambridge and then after that the second game of the twin bill will be the Caldwell Redskins and Buckeye Trail doing battle three ball in the corner by Dodd good off another Rome assist Imes leaves it just a little short Berga has it another rebound in that if I'm correct my statistician says that is the 10th rebound by Berga, and he has a double-double. As the Warriors will trigger it in here. And uh, James Burleson will be called for the foul for the Rockets, and that will send Rome to the free throw line. 67-50. Warriors only had 28 points at the half. They have exploded here in the second half as the first free throw by Rome is up and no good. 
Second free throw. Good. So Franco cashes in there. Himes, oh, nice move. And the finish with the left hand. Himes with 22. Dodd, jumper good. Off the Rome assist. We are thinking Rome may be double figures in assist. And they're going to call an offensive foul. And if that's on Imes, that is his fifth team foul. And what, what a nice game from Imes as he finishes his night with 22 points. So he picks up his fifth foul. 70 to 52. As Myers checks back in for Connaught Valley. Pass. So how did he get there? Rome scoop shot. Good. <laughs> I'm not sure if Berga knows how that pass got through everybody. So going to the free throw line will be Gallagher as Berga picks up his third foul. A 20 point Buckeye Trail Warrior lead. Free throw up and no good by Gallagher. Second free throw, in and out. Berga, another rebound. It's Rome. Gives it to Dodd. Good defense on by Myers. But the ball will go off of Myers, and the Warriors will keep it. Novak will check in. For the Rockets, 218 left. Pass to Berga. Floater in the lane, good. Pass inside to Rice. His shot is rejected by Beaver. Beaver gets the rebound, and he'll be fouled. And with all the fouls, this has been a long fourth quarter. Two, still 2.04 left. So Beaver to the free throw line. Charlie Perry will be set to check in. Free throw by Beaver up and no good. Be remiss if I didn't take this time to give a shout out to the Buckeye Trail Junior High Lady Warriors who are in quarantine as Beaver splits a pair there. Girls, I look forward to seeing you next Thursday. So enjoy your little mini vacation away from your coach. Novak, baseline jumper, no good. Rome secures the rebound. Shake and bake in the backcourt. Guarded tightly by Seidel. Beaver has it. As we're nearing a minute and a half left, this game, Warriors are going to look to work on their delay game with Beaver, Dodd, and Rome up top. Rome has it up top.
So an impressive victory for the Warriors. Gritty, gutty effort from the Rockets. It's going down the lane. They're going to wave off the basket. And that will be Dodd's fifth foul. So to think that Tyler Dodd picked up his fourth foul, I believe, on the first possession of the third quarter. And was able to not only avoid his fifth foul, but get 13 of his 14 points in the second half with four fouls. Great effort by the sophomore. Seidel guarded tightly by Perry. Novak, pump fake no good. Another rebound by Berga. And he'll go to the line. 45 seconds left. Again, I want to thank my statistician tonight, Dave McComb, for the great job he has done providing us with stats. Free throw by Berga is up and good. Solid game for Garrett. That's his 21st and 22nd point. 22 from Berga, 20 from Rome. Pull up baseline jumper, good by Burleson. Nice move by Burleson baseline. 20 seconds left. Rome has it. The parry. He'll give it to Beaver. 10 seconds left. Good hustle by Burleson knocking the ball out. So it'll be Warrior Basketball leading 77-54. Beaver pull it out up at the top. Four seconds. And he will dribble it out. And that is their ball game. Final score here from Old Washington. Buckeye Trail wins their season opener and home opener. Knocking off. Connaughton Valley by the score of 77 to 54. Tell you what we'll do. We'll take a timeout. Come back with individual scoring, final game statistics, and wrap things up on this Warrior victory as they move to 1-0 on the season. We'll be back after this timeout.
Welcome back to the campus of Buckeye Trail High School as we wrap things up here. The season opener for the Warriors and a impressive performance, especially in the second half as they knock off Connaughton Valley by the score 77 to 54. The Warriors led after one quarter, 18 to 13. Connaughton Valley would outscore Buckeye Trail 12 to 10 to only trail by three at the break, 28-25. And after Connaught Valley scored the first four points of the second half early in the third quarter to lead by one, the Warriors would explode, outscoring Connaught Valley 28-12 to to close the third quarter to lead 56-41 after three and then the Warriors would add 21 more points in the fourth quarter to uh, 13 for Connaught Valley in route to their 77-54 victory. For Connaught Valley, their scoring went this way. 11 points for Evan Rice. Maddox Walter had four. Six for Ethan Myers. Bur James Burleson off the bench with two points. Gage Gallagher finished with nine and leading the way was Garson Imes with 22 so Imes with 22 Gallagher uh, Ross with 11 Gallagher nine six for Myers four for Walter and two for Burleson for the victorious Buckeye Trail Warriors they would get five points from Jet Geesey six from Isaac Beaver Eight from Donovan Geiger. And then three players in double figures. Tyler Dodd with 15. Franco Rome with 20. And tied for a game high 22 points. That's well, Garrett Berga. So Berga with 22. Rome 20. 15 for Dodd. Eight for Geiger. Six for Beaver. And five for Geesey. And if my math is right, I think I missed a free throw somewhere. So whoever knocked that down, just, you know, you got one more point than I gave you credit for. But the big one is on the scoreboard, the Warriors, 77, the 54 victory over Connaughton Valley. If we look at the final stats, courtesy of one Dave McComb, Buckeye Trail, shot the ball well, 27 of 49 from the field for 55%, Connaughton Valley. Not bad, 19 of 43 for 44 percent. Rebounding the Warriors won the uh, rebound advantage, 29 to 18. Imes and Walter had five apiece to lead Connaught Valley, and it was Garrett Berga to go along with his 22 points. He had 12 rebounds to lead the Warriors. Franco Rome with seven rebounds to go with his 20 points, and unofficially we had him for 10 assists. So a double double for Berga in Rome as uh, the Warriors uh, finish with 16 turnovers, the Rockets five and or 15, excuse me. And the Warriors will pull away in the second half to knock off Connaught Valley 77 to 54. So Buckeye Trail moves to 1 and 0 on the season and they go a little double header this weekend, Friday night at home in the Ohio Valley Classic, they will take on Shady Side. That will be a JV and varsity game. And then Saturday, uh, the second night of the Ohio Valley first ever annual classic. It will be Cambridge and Steubenville at 530. And then the Buckeye Trail Warriors will take on former PVC rival. From Noble County to Caldwell Redskins. So Buckeye Trail plays Shadyside Friday night and Caldwell Saturday night. And it ought to be a great weekend of high school boys basketball action here at Buckeye Trail. So as we head out, we want to thank the athletic director from Buckeye Trail, Aaron Bates, for all his help, along with the head coach, Drew Meister. And I couldn't have done this broadcast. It wouldn't be possible without my stat man, the best in the business, he's known as. The man who simply checks all the boxes. One, Dave McComb. Dave, thank you for your uh, 
your work helping to add to this broadcast. And, uh, and Colton Wheeler, who helped produce uh, this broadcast tonight. Great job, as always, uh, Colton. And uh, I'm merely uh, Tom Strasser. And on behalf of the KGP family, we want to once again thank the BT Round Ball Club for sponsoring tonight's game. And uh, good Lord willing, we'll see you Friday night for the first ever Ohio Valley Classic. Please be safe. And we'll see you soon here on KGP TV.